What's up beautiful people, Anne Michelet here, and in today's video, we will be going over the many benefits of amla for hair growth. And I'll be giving you two simple, yet super effective ways to use amla powder for hair growth. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you like content like this, go ahead and hit the like button so YouTube knows that you wanna see more stuff like this and they will start putting it out to you. Okay, let's jump on in. So this is Amla, AKA Indian Gooseberry. It is an edible fruit that is amazing for stimulating hair growth and improving the quality of the hair. I'm going to make an Amla oil. First, I grab a container. I like to use glass containers that have a beautiful seal so that once I make my oil, I don't have to worry about any moisture getting into my concoction. So I'm going to measure out two tablespoons of my Amla powder into this jar. My primary carrying oil today will be an avocado oil. I absolutely love avocado oil. It works magnificently for my hair type. It's a great carrying oil. It's also an oil that penetrates deep into the hair shaft and into the skin, skin or scalp, and it's able to deliver the nutrients that it has absorbed from the amla powder, which I love. And it does this very, very efficiently and very effectively. And now I'm gonna follow up with a little bit of almond oil. I use the almond oil to kind of make this mixture a little bit more light in texture. Amla has antifungal and antiviral properties, which helps to promote a healthy scalp. Having a healthy scalp is super important in having healthy hair growth. Amla is said to be a very effective treatment against hair loss and hair fall. It is so abundant in vitamin C. Vitamin C is an immensely powerful antioxidant that literally fights free radicals in the body. A little smidge of castor oil. I have yet to use castor oil on my channel, but I've been using castor oil for over seven years now, and it gives my hair some shine like no tomorrow. And lastly, a drop or two of vitamin E oil. Vitamin E is a great antioxidant. It is not a broad spectrum preservative. However, because this is only oil, it works wonders for prolonging the shelf life of my oil. And I'm just gonna stir the powder into the oil. You wanna do this really, really well. And after you've completely stirred in the powder, scraping the bottom, making sure the powder is fully suspended in the oil so the oil can start to interact with the powder and extract its nutrients. Then you're gonna give it a nice, good shake and voila, the making of your oil is done. Now it's time for you to wait. Sometimes I wait about a week, two months, or even three months to harvest my oil. The length of time in which you allow this oil to infuse is 100% your choice. Normally during the week, I will go in and shake up my bottle because the powder will settle at the bottom of your jar, but I don't open it, I don't stir it, I just shake it up again so that the powder is fully suspended in the oil again. When it comes to harvesting my oil, I wait about two days after shaking it up so that the powder can settle at the bottom. And once that has happened, I pour off the oil straight off the top. I do not strain it. I used to do that in the past, but I found that this way is super easy, it's super simple, and there's less mess to clean up. I'm just gonna add a few drops of my peppermint essential oil just for a nice little fragrance, as well as the fact that peppermint oil has its own benefits for hair growth. Maybe I'll do a whole video on that, but it does have its own benefits for hair growth, which I like. So I'm just gonna add a few drops here and then I'm gonna shake it, cover, and my oil is fully, fully completed. Yeah, girl, it's time to use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a nice rinse out tea. Uh, again here i'm going to measure out two tablespoons of the amla powder into a jar just going to fill it up with warm water you don't want this water to be piping hot because you don't want to burn your amla and destroy any of the nutrients you want it to be warm to help with the brewing of the tea and i just let it sit and cool until i'm ready to use so time for application so i'm going to start with freshly washed hair my hair is washed, it's deep conditioned, and I'm going to just go ahead and gently pour this mixture onto my hair. Now, I would suggest 
you straining it before doing this i was being a little lazy here so i just went on and poured this onto my hair i saturated my hair and my scalp and a little bit of the powder did get onto my hair but i was fine with that if you're not okay with that strain it off or pour it off before you decide to actually apply it to your hair i started to give myself a beautiful scalp massage i really allowed this thing to sit and soak in once i finished massaging my head i did cover my hair with a plastic cap or uh, actually a bag a plastic bag and i sat and i let this steep for about 15 to 20 minutes once i was done i came back in the shower and i rinsed and my curls my hair felt so soft oh my god my hair felt so soft i mean i already deep conditioned then i added this my hair felt so soft it felt fortified as well in the past i've left this tea on i never used to wash it up before but it stains it stains my clothes it stained my white pillowcases it stained and i was like oh yeah we can't be doing that to the things that i've paid my good money for so i now wash it out when it comes to the oil it's a different story the oil is so much more versatile you can use the oil every single day you can use the oil every other day you can use the oil as a hot oil treatment as a scalp treatment you can use the oil on the entirety of your strands or only on your scalp like you can use it in creams you can also maybe even use it in some skincare creams if you're into that kind of stuff love this oil it's very very versatile and it does what it's supposed to do and that is all for this video. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.